keynote presentation that you would like to share with others, perhaps on YouTube, but you just don't know how? Well, today I'd like to show you how to do just that. To translate your slideshow presentation to a video. And for this demonstration, I will use iMovie to make the transition. First, I will open up my keynote presentation. Then I will need to translate this to images. I will click on File, click Export, and then click on Images. Click Next, and save your images. You can name your, um, you can save it to the desktop or wherever you like. Click Export, and since I've already saved this, I'll just replace it. Okay. Once you're done, you can close out your keynote presentation and you will need to open iMovie. Okay, now you will need to start a new project. So you need to go to File, click New Project. You may desire to choose a pre-existing theme to make creating your transitions easier or more exciting, but I'm just going to use none and type the title of my presentation. and click make sure this one is clicked here automatically add to transitions and then click create now you will need to open up the file um, that contains your images wait just a moment here we have another And you will need to slide the images onto the um, timeline in the order in which you want them to occur. Okay, you got the picture. And then you can close out your images. Okay, once you have them placed where you would like them, you can preview them all um, through the preview window here by clicking on the presentation and clicking the toolbar. Okay. As you can tell, everything has been defaulted to four seconds, but in a PowerPoint, you think that people would need or your viewers would need more than four seconds to read each slide or gather the information. So you can tweak it here. Let me show you how. You will hover over the video um, image or slide, and then you will click on the little drop in the little box here and click on the little drop down arrow click clip adjustments and for the duration you can change the time perhaps it's six seconds and click done and you can preview that again if you like to see your changes okay If you want to add music to your narr um, or narration to your presentation, you can. It would all depends on your preference and the type of presentation that you have. And since this is a how-to video, it would be ideal to add a narration. So I'll do just that. Um, but I'll also show you how to add a video. So let's go to the beginning of this clip here. And I'm going to click the microphone and it will indicate for you to click on a clip that you want to start recording on. Okay, so I'm going to click here. Creating an ebook with CAS UDL Book Builder. Okay. 
I'm sorry I hit escape instead of the space bar, so I'm gonna have to record that again. Or, yeah, do that again. Sorry about that. Creating an ebook with Cast UDL Book Builder. Hit the space bar and your voiceover will appear. Creating an ebook with Cast UDL Book Builder. Okay. Hit the space bar here. Now, if you like to add music, you can. Just click where you would like um, your music to go. And you will go over here to the music symbol. Choose a um, audio clip. You can play it. Okay. If that's what you desire, you would drag and drop the the audio clip to the video clip where you like it to go. Um, as you can tell, this is 4 seconds, this is 13 seconds, so you can go to the end of the audio clip once it highlights and drag it to 4 seconds if you wish or close to 4 seconds. So we'll only play during that clip. Okay. If you would like to play it with more than one clip, you will click on the audio clip again and drag it to where you would like it to go. Okay. Now, if you would like your music to play in the background of your narration, simply add it to your narration by dragging and dropping it on the same clip with your narration. So let's try that. As you can tell, it appeared there. So let's drag and drop that. Creating an ebook with Cast UDL Book Builder. Now you may want to adjust your audio so um, to prevent your music clip from drowning out your narration. Um, to do this, you need to click on the voiceover drop down arrow in the re um, edit box. So that will be the purple one. Click audio adjustments. Under ducking, you need to slide the bar over to about 90 um, something percent, about 97 percent. And the ducking will reduce the volume of the other track to 97 percent so that the, the voiceover will be louder than the music. And you also need to increase the volume of your narration. So I will go to about 178, that's fine, and click done. And you can play that back. Creating an ebook with Cast UDL Book Builder. Okay. Now another thing you could do is go up to the music clip, click audio adjustments, and reduce the volume of the audio. And click done. Creating an ebook with Cast UDL Book Builder. Okay. Once you get your video the way you will like it, once you get your video to the point where you like it, then you can save it and um, share it to your YouTube. To do this, you would need to go to Share, click Export Movie. You will need to name the movie, and it already has the title up there, creating an ebook. And I have mine on Medium, and click Export. And this should, wait a minute, I'm sorry. You might want to choose where you want this to go, so it can be found easily. I'll put five behind there, and click Export. It should save it to your desktop. And once you have it saved, you can um, 
log on to YouTube and upload your video to YouTube. Please give it a moment to export. Okay, now that's done. Click exit out. And for me, I'm going to arrange by date created. Make sure I have the right one. Okay. And you can click on that. Sorry. We have creating, creating an ebook. E okay, there you have it, your video. All you have to do is log on to YouTube, upload your video, and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.